Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got an empties video for you. It's that time again. I've got a big old box of beauty garbage to share with you. So let's dive right in. I meant to do this before the end of 2019, like last empties of 2019, last empties of the decade, but we're just gonna do first empties of the decade. That's fine. So diving right in, the first thing I have <laughs> is another one of these. I have had one of these, I think, in every empties video, either this one or the Garnier. So this is the Nivea Micellar Micellar Water. This will be the last one of these that I have to show you guys. I have made the resolution to go cruelty-free in 2020. Obviously, I am using up a lot of products that I have that are not cruelty-free, um, but this was the last bottle of micellar water, and I have found a, cr a couple of cruelty-free options. I'm still settling on what my favorite one is, um, but this was the last bottle <laughs> of Nivea Micellar Missler water that you'll be seeing on my channel, but I do enjoy this formula. It's very cost effective. You get a lot of bang for your buck. The packaging is better than the Garnier one. You waste a lot less product. So it is a great product and I would recommend it if the cruelty free thing is not important to you. However, I won't be purchasing this again. Sticking with skincare, I have a couple of products from The Ordinary. Um, first of all, I have The Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. I love this so much. I will definitely be buying this again. I actually purchased something else this time. I wanted to give a try to the brand The Inky List. Um, they seem very similar to me to The Ordinary. It's a very similar vibe very similar type of packaging um, and it was available at Shoppers Drug Mart where I have to buy this through Sephora so I thought I'd give it a try and I am liking it so far but I certainly will buy this again. I really liked it and it lasted forever. Something like this um, from The Ordinary the way that their products are made is that you layer your own key ingredients. Rather than having a serum that has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and, 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 this is your niacinamide serum. You can also buy a hyaluronic acid serum. I personally like that. I like to be able to build my own skincare routine with the ingredients that I know I need for my skin type. So that's why The Ordinary really appeals to me. I think it... I think for that same reason, for some people it really doesn't appeal to you. So it, it just depends on the person, what you're looking for in skincare and how aware you are of the ingredients and what they do for you. Um, but I really like this. Niacinamide is an ingredient that I can't live without. It's great for acne prone skin. It's great for anti-aging. I also used up their 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil and I really love this as well. So I will certainly be buying these two products again in the future. Um, rosehip seed oil is a great facial oil um, for anti-aging. Again, great for acne prone skin. So if you're either of those things, both of those products would probably be great for you. Highly recommend these and the price point is fantastic. This is an empty of the Avain uh, Thermal Spring Water. I will not be buying this again because it's not cruelty free. However, I do enjoy this. It's very similar. The um, La Roche Posay also makes one very similar to this. It's just a thermal spring water in an aerosol can. It's really nice, super refreshing, particularly nice in the summertime when it's hot. Um, I have also subbed this in as a toner during the winter months when my skin is really dry. This is a nice option. Um, and it's also really great for sensitive skin. If you're somebody who breaks out in hives or gets really um, sort of red and hot when your skin gets irritated, something like this might be a really nice product for you. This I thought was never going to be gone. <laughs> so this is by Strivectin and this is their advanced retinol night treatment. Um, this was gifted to me by a friend and I did really enjoy it. I quite enjoyed this. It really did last a long time. Um, it's meant to be used at nighttime as a treatment. Normally that's how you would use a retinol product. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase this again. I didn't see a huge difference in my skin when I was using this. It felt really nice. Um, my skin was definitely not dry when I was using this, but I can't say as I noticed a huge difference in terms of anti-aging. So I would like to try something with a higher percentage of retinol and see what type of a difference I would notice with something like that. So it, it was a nice product, but I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. Um, same goes for this Lancome product. This is their Energy to V serum. Um, it was nice. It really, 
Uh, I liked using it in the morning. It really gave sort of an awake look to the skin. Um, I felt it was a little bit hydrating, but again, like I didn't notice a huge difference in my skin when I was using this. And Lancome products are not cheap, so again, this was gifted to me, but I don't think it made enough of a difference to spend the money and buy it again. And also Lancome is not cruelty free, so again, I won't be purchasing that. I hope it's not annoying that I'm pointing out which products are or aren't cruelty free. Um, it is something that's fairly new to me and I am trying to phase out products that are not cruelty free. So some of these products are things that I did enjoy but I won't be repurchasing for that reason. I feel I need to tell you guys that. As time goes on and I use up some of the things that I have in my collection that aren't cruelty free. <laughs> this won't be like a disclaimer on every single product, but for now that's sort of the main reason why some of these things won't be repurchased. But this product in particular, I just don't think it did enough to warrant the price tag. Um, so this was a deluxe sample size of the Neostrata night repair cream. Um, this was from their collagen line. This was sent to me. However, I it just wasn't my favorite. I haven't, I've tried a few products from Neostrata. All of them have been sent to me. However, none of them have been my favorite. Now this has an 8% AHA. It's supposed to be for dry, dull, lackluster skin. Um, I just didn't, again, I just didn't really feel like this did a whole lot. It wasn't particularly heavy, which I expect a night cream to be a little bit richer in texture. Um, this one really wasn't. And as I've experienced previously with Neostrata products, I actually find this irritated my skin a little bit. And I don't generally have overly sensitive skin when it comes to products. So not my favorite. I am still using the serum. They sent me a deluxe sample size of the night cream, but they sent me a full size of the collagen serum. I am still using that and I'm still deciding whether I like it or not. Um, but this I don't really recommend. I just don't think it's that great. This on the other hand, <laughs> this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. <laughs> I love this stuff. This is my second jar of this that I've gone through. Um, the first jar I had received in a boxy charm. This one I purchased myself. I really like this cream. I would buy it again. I really, really like it. It's just heavy enough that I can wear it at night. It's light enough that I can use a little bit during the daytime and it doesn't make my skin too oily. I do have oily skin, um, but in the winter time, I do still like to do like a good moisturizer during the day, even if it means I get a little bit oily throughout the day. I just really like this. How rude, my camera stopped recording. So rude, as I was saying. <laughs> I love this moisturizer. It's one of those products where when I put it on my skin, I'm like, yeah, this is my moisturizer. Like it just feels just right. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I really like this one, highly recommend. Um, I think it lasts a long time. It smells great. Just has a nice clean sort of spa smell. Love it. And then lastly for skincare, I have a deluxe size sample of the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I got this, I want to say I got this maybe with a Sephora order and I opened it. I can't remember why. <laughs> I think I was out of makeup remover. I can't remember, but I did want to touch on this. I love this product. If you're looking for a cruelty-free cleansing balm, I highly recommend the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I've had it in the full size before I received it in a BoxyCharm. I love it. I have heard a lot of people say the smell bothered them. It has such a faint smell. I find that so unusual that I've heard so many people say that. It has a very faint, almost lime scent to it, which I find really nice. Um, I'm using up the Clinique one right now. I won't be repurchasing that one, obviously, but when that one's done, I'll probably buy this one or maybe the, um, I've heard really good things about the Drunk Elephant one, so I may try that one, but I really like that one a lot. And I did want to mention it because cleansing balms are so great for this time of year when your skin's dry but you wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> Speaking of makeup, let's move on to makeup empties. So I have an empty of my favorite mascara. So this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara, hands down. I spent a very long year of trying 
different mascaras to find a cruelty-free drugstore mascara that I love, and this is it. I basically just don't want to try any more mascaras anymore. I love this one so much. There's nothing else out there that I could love more than this. If there is, I'm just not ready to find out. I feel like I just found this and I'm ready to just love on it for 2020. This is very comparable to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It has that nice volumizing aspect to it. It gives you nice separation of the lashes. It doesn't flake off. Um, and I really, really like it. So, And it gives me a lot of volume without the transfer underneath the eyes. That's my number one problem with mascaras is even if I love the formula, if it rubs off underneath my eyes, I can't, I can't do it. I have, my skin is so oily, <laughs> like it just doesn't work. This one really stays put, it stays put all day and I find it comes off really easily with a micellar water so you don't have to rub at your eyes a whole lot. Um, I love this a lot, I would highly recommend it. Also from CoverGirl, I've got two of my favorite eyebrow pencils. I talk about these in every empties video. I usually have at least two, so I use the CoverGirl Microfine Eyebrow Pencil. I use the colors Soft Blonde and Honey Brown. Those are my favorites. Love them so much, no need to try anything new. So if you would like to see a full tutorial using these eyebrow pencils and how I do my eyebrows, I will link that video down below in the description box. And then I've got an empty of my favorite foundation. Now this is bittersweet. So. This is my favorite foundation. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I love this. This is everything that I could want in a foundation and more. It makes my skin look like skin. It covers without being full coverage and making it look like I have a cake on my face. I can powder this and wear it throughout the day all day long at work. I can wear it unpowdered on the weekend when I don't need it to last as long and it just looks like skin. I love it so much. It's got some nice skincare ingredients in there. And then one of you guys told me that it's being discontinued. Why? Why? Why do they do this to me? <laughs> so I panicked and I, I have one almost full one right here. And then I panicked and I went on the hunt. I had like other people looking for me because of course I went to the drugstore to pick up a backup even though I said I wasn't going to buy backups this year. But when they're discontinuing your favorite foundation, desperate times call for desperate measures. So I went to the drugstore and of course they didn't have my color. They only had like the darkest colors. I was like, oh no, oh no. It's only been discontinued for like two days. So I had a friend looking for it for me in the States. Uh, I went to Walmart and they had it there. So I have two backups plus like a almost full one here. So I do have an empty of the Healthy Foundation and I have a few on backup, but after that, I don't know, man, I'm gonna have to find something else. So if you know of something comparable to this, other than the La Mer one, because I'm not spending that. If you know of a drugstore alternative or an affordable alternative that is cruelty free that's comparable to this in formulation, I would love to know. Please comment below, I'm desperate. And then I have this empty of the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Mist. I hated this. I do not recommend it. It smells like you're spraying perfume on your face. It does not smell good. Aside from that, it does have like, I don't know if you can see from the little bit that's left, it looks a little bit milky. That's because there's like actual shimmer particles inside of this mist. I don't hate that, like it's okay. It gives you a little bit of a glow. I feel like some people, I have, I think I used the last of it today. I don't think I look terribly sparkly. However, I don't necessarily need that in a setting mist, you know? I would never use this as a prep mist because it smells just horrific. Don't use it any more than you have to. Um, but as soon as I got this, I basically decided I was gonna use it up before anything else in my collection. It worked, it did the job, it made my skin look nice, but I just hate the way it smells. So I can't recommend it for that reason. And then I've got enough, there's a lot of repeats. I use a lot of the same products all the time as most people do. So I have an empty of the Herbalin bath oil. This is in the rosemary scent. Um, I had a big set of these. They came in a pack of 10, so I have quite a few of these. I think I might only have one or two left, um, but I do really like these. They're feminine friendly. They're much more natural than a lot of other 
bath products that you can buy. There's literally like three ingredients in it. So I like these a lot. I will continue to purchase them. However, I had to, I did get some Lush stuff for Christmas. So I am kind of working through some of that stuff first because I love Lush. It's so nice. I wish we had a Lush store here. So I do really like this. I would definitely repurchase it again. And then lastly, I've just got one hair care product this time. This is from the brand Big Sexy Hair, and this is their Split End Mender Lotion with Aloe and Mango Butter. Um, this was fine. I don't know. Do any Split End Menders really mend your ends? No, you just need a haircut. Like, there's nothing that you can put on your hair that's gonna like seal your ends back down. When they're split, they're split. However, I do like to use something like this as like a preventative measure to try and keep my hair in good condition. I didn't particularly love this one. I didn't dislike it. It was just kind of okay. So um, I don't believe that this brand is cruelty free, so I won't be purchasing it again. But on top of that, it just didn't really wow me. I didn't feel like it made my hair particularly soft or shiny or touchable or any of those things. So it was just kind of meh. And that's it. That's all of my empties for this go around. Um, I usually do these videos every other month or so, and then once every three months or so at the salon. So I do have a playlist of empties videos. I will link that down in the description box as well if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I hope you'll hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more empties videos. As I said, I post them quite often. Um, and I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.